yesterday I was um, at Enterprise. I had um, rented a um, Land Rover a LR3 and after driving it for some time I realized that this thing is only pretty on the outside. It's a school bus to drive it on the inside. That 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 thing's crazy. <laughs> let, let me tell you, if you ain't driven one, let me give you insight of perspective today. You, if you ain't no school bus driver, leave it alone. Leave it, leave it, leave it alone. That's 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 what they said to me. They said, Jeremiah, you may be don't. <laughs> With the words of my mama, don't. When you think you should, don't. Just let me don't. Please, please don't. Um, I had to take it back, good God, because that thing was the size of a bus, it seemed like, from the outside, and I just couldn't do nothing with it, I couldn't, um, any long, long, long story short, I went and I, um, I went there to swap it out, to change it out, right, when I got there, to Enterprise in Nashville. Um, I, I drove in, um, I drove in the terminal, but I'm not really sure what direction I should go. I drive into a foreign place looking for something that's not mine to replace something that doesn't work for me now. I didn't have uh, the money uh, to afford to purchase it, nor did I have the credentials that I could even lease it. I could only rent it, uh, but I was hoping that I could get out of it. And I've only come on today to give insight to somebody to tell you that some things, some places, some items, some people, there are some properties, there, there are some negotiations, there are some rewards and awards that you are looking for, that you don't have the credentials for, you don't have the celebration in your mouth to say that you will win to achieve it. Let me tell you, you don't even have the affirmation of faith to say that you can afford it, but sometimes God will let you grace the scene so you can leave out of it with it and tell people who are less determined about it that God did it. I, I'm, I'm telling you today, I ain't, ain't going to preach. I just came to softly nudge a word to somebody in faith and let you know that God is still in control. I go in there after weeding through the terminal that I do not know. I'm not aware of what I should do, how I need to get to my destination. I know in the back of my mind where I need to go. I know in my mind what I want to happen, but I still have to weed through the terminal to get through it. You, you, you gotta be able to determine in your mind that regardless of what terminal the enemy puts in front of me, I'm going to get through this. It, it can be cancer, I'm going to get through this. It can be sickness and ailment, I'm going to get through this. It can be rebut and rebel, I'm going to get through this. It could be rebuke and hell, I'm going to get through this. You got to be able to determine over yourself that the terminal cannot take me out, but the terminal will bring me out. I'm going to end up where I need to be in the end of this. You'll see. Let me tell you on today, I got out of it came to my destination, parked the bus, and I jump out. And the man is like, wait a minute. Can you park it between these two cars? It's too close together. They are incredibly small, but valuable. They can be dented, scratched. Uh, it's way too much above my budget. I, I, I can't do it. So I tell him, no, sir, I, I, I can't do that. That's, 
that that's a bus if you didn't see what i came in on i didn't come in a land rover nor a range rover i came in on a school bus that's that's what that's what i did i came in here and parked a school bus and that's as much as i can do parallel parking in a place where ain't no cars in front of me or behind me i just parked in the middle of the street and jumped out sometimes you have to be able to tell the enemy i'm not going to solidify it i'm not going to try and rectify it i'm not going to try and make it pretty i'm not going to try and perfect it i'm not going to try and drum it up all i've got to do is jump out of it. I'm, I'm jumping out of doubt. I'm jumping out of worry. I'm jumping out of fear. I'm jumping out of bad relationships. I'm jumping out of bad future projections. I'm jumping out of debt. I'm jumping out of depression. I'm jumping out of death. I'm jumping out of every place that God said that I need not be. I'm jumping out of here. It don't matter if I offend people, if I hit people, if I'm in the way. I just need to jump out and save. Save my destiny today. God said, Jay, your destiny is too big ground here didn't up cars that you never even signed for didn't even start off the day saying that you was gonna come here and ask for this so today I tell you I jumped out I went in the enterprise and I told the man switch it change it it's too much for me. It's pretty on the outside, but it's a behemoth on the inside. I don't know how I can control it. And there's sometimes what a turbulence of the wind, the trials of your life. Sometimes it seems like I'm gonna tip it. I'm gonna fall over and crash in it. I don't know where you are. I'm not sure what you've been going through. But I want to tell you when you reach that point in your life where you're just not sure what the wind is going to do. You don't know how the wave is treating you. You're not sure in the expression what you ought to say, how you should feel. If you were to reveal it or conceal it, let me inform you on the day, tell you what God told me to tell you as the man said to me. Pick whatever it is that you like. Uh, I stood in front of a car lot and he looked at me and then told me to look at it. And sometimes you have to be able to look past the person and start seeing the present that God is giving you. He's giving you new opportunities. Uh, pick whatever you want. He's giving you new destinations. Pick wherever you want. He's giving you new assignments. Do whatever it is that you want. You got to be able to know God determined for your future. No restrictions, no hindrance, no worries no no wells checks no no coming into this place where you're feeling hollow on the inside looking well on the outside I was at enterprise this is the last thing and I promise I'm done he said Jay not 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 only do I want you to look at what you see on our entire lot. Says if you don't see anything in Enterprise, check and see if they got it in National. I can't hear nobody. I can't. He said if National don't got it, by the way, sir. If 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 National don't have it, sir. If 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 they don't have what you want, let me tell you, you can expand your search. To the Alamo. I, 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 I can't hear nobody on today. He says, choose whatever it is that you see. Don't worry about the price range. Don't, don't worry about the vehicle. Don't worry about if you can afford it or whose lot that is on. Let me tell you, on today, God is opening that same door for you. It does not matter if you owned it, if you just looked at it, if you rented it, if it belonged to you, them, or the people next to you. God said, in this season, what I'm doing for you, I'm moving you completely. I'm moving you to a place where you're not worried about it. You're not apprehensive of it, but you can go into it and take acquisition of every asset that you see, every possibility, every word of doubt that they spoke unto you. He says, I'm tailoring it so you can change it. This one is specific. I'm doing this not for them. I'm doing this for you. 
I'm changing the way you come through. I'm changing. Changing the way you came out. I'm changing. Changing the way you look at it. You're suppressed in it. You ain't no longer down by it. Is what he said. I'm making it different. So I just need you to see it. That you can drive it. God is expanding it. The horizon, God is expanding it. The implication in your mind, God is expanding your mental capacity. You're not tired and worn. You're unworried. You're purposed. You're on assignment. You're called. You're greater than any attack that the enemy could put over you. Speak towards you. Believe in light of you. Here's what he said for me to tell you. Look at it different. It's not happening to you. You're changing it. When life gets out of control. And stuff don't seem to go your way. Take hold. Of the person. Who's been leading you God. Who's been guiding you God. Who's who's been turning you God. Who's been preparing the way for you God. Who's. Who's been on your side, God? Who has been making a way, though it seemed there was no way on yesterday, on the day before that and today, God has been the same and has not changed. He says, take hold of the one who holds everything. And I say, God, thank you for making a way. Thank you, God. So whatever it is that you want, you can have it. Uh, he said, you can have whatever you like.